All right, guys, we have the developer of COG, Ryan. How you doing, Ryan? Yeah, I'm good. Nice to meet you, man. It's good, good to be here as well. Uh, so how are you enjoying the expo? Oh, it's awesome. This is the first time I've shown a game off. So it's been pretty awesome just seeing everyone come and play our game for the first time. Yeah, pretty cool experience. So, have you been to the expo before? Uh, yeah, I've been to a few. I went to Supernova when I was really young, and then I went to GX Australia as well last year and helped around there. So yeah, I've been to a few, just helping around, but this is the first time I've ever actually like shown something off like at an expo. Yeah. And and how does that feel? Pretty cool. Like, because like, like, so you're on like a different level of the uh, like different version now. Almost, yeah. Right? Like I now appreciate the people who do this way often because now I know how their feet feel pretty much. Same same way. Yeah. <laughs> So you're here uh, as a developer of COG. Yes. Now, uh, there it is there. Could you explain a little bit about, like, what's the story what, in, in regards to the um, gameplay itself? Okay. So COG is a single-player isometric puzzle game that was inspired by old retro puzzle games on the SNES. Because we thought that we don't see enough classic puzzle games where it's just simple mechanics. And we still wanted to bring that back but with, like, high-definition graphics and 3D models. And so very much it's a simple puzzle game but with really good art to back it up. Yeah. I think that is a genre that's sort of lacking nowadays. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of complicated ones out there, but we sort of felt like there needs to be a more push for the classical type of puzzle. Like, um, I was a big fan of uh, 3DO Pac-Man, and also I think it was Kubla or Kubla, whatever one was the isometric one where you jump on top of pyramids. I loved all the classic puzzle games from back then. Yeah. So, how long did it take to develop the game? Uh, how do we intend to develop it? Uh, well, we've been developing it for the past two months now at AIE, and we've been using Unity as an engine. We started off with a simple prototype at the beginning, and it moved from there. Like, originally the game was not going to be like a puzzle game, it was going to be like this story-based um, side-scroller. But we realized more and more that we wanted to show our skills as developers further, by having like a grid system for programming, harder puzzles, and a lot of art assets to use. So we very much wanted to show everyone's like skills full on with the game. Uh, is it completed now or is it still in development? Still in development. At the moment, it's I think about a late alpha, nearly beta, as nearly all features are in. Probably by then it will be beta. At the moment it's only got five levels, but we're aiming to have about 20 by the time we release it. And would there be like a release date or for a year possibly? Or? Hopefully next year. I think that's the date we'll probably all want to release the game and then move on to further things as a group. Because I feel like um, there's so much more we can do with it. Like it's still such a simple idea that we could have so much more added on top of it. And I feel like with more time, it could definitely be something really, really cool. Awesome, yeah. So, any plans for the future for the game? Uh, would there be a sequel, or, or uh, is, it, is, it, is it still something still working on this one at the moment? Uh, when originally, when we developed it, it was going to be um, it was originally going to be like a 3D Tetris type game. We have to place blocks on top of each other. A lot of us want to try VR though. We've been discussing and seeing all the other great games here that have VR. And we all sort of are really enthralled by the experience of having the headset on you and being able to feel, yeah, exactly. Like, a lot of us have been discussing ideas as a group about how to do VR and how we do it as a student group. I think from after we finish COG, we might be looking towards VR as like a definite like strategy to move forward with. Uh, and in the academy itself, that actually, um, like, it, you're able to use the academy and as well as the VR to, to make a game? Yeah, the Academy has given us a lot of resources. So we've got about two vibes that we've been using at the moment, as well as um, VR boxes, which are like simple headsets that you use your phone with. Um, we've played around a bit. It's, pretty, it's actually pretty cool and intuitive how easy it is to put it in at the moment. Um, but we definitely want to make it a, a bigger thing. We want to sort of explore it a bit further and see what we can do with it. It's still such an early you know, technology. Not everything's been found out yet. And we sort of want to be on that frontier when it comes to it, you know? Yeah. Anyway, Ryan, I'm, I'm going to check it out now. and. Thanks for taking time yeah, to check, check it out. Yeah. yeah, thanks man, appreciate it. No worries, take care. Thanks.